As we advance as a species, there are a lot of things that once seemed impossible even a century ago that are now a reality. It's called evolving. For example, there was a time when most people believed that Earth was flat. Then Eratosthenes came onto the scene and proved that the world is round. So when Isaac Newton discovered gravity in 1687, he set in motion, pun intended, the age of classic mechanics. Putting to good use a few questions, he was able to describe the motion of a ball moving through the air. At the time, it was groundbreaking. But today, quantum mechanics rules the roost. This school of physics deals with the physical realm on the scale of atoms and electrons, thus making many of the equations in classical mechanics useless. With that being said, let's take a look at three of the most amazing quantum breakthroughs that are bringing liberation and freedom to the world of science today. We kick things off with a team of Chinese scientists claiming to have constructed a quantum computer that has the ability to perform certain computations almost 100 trillion times faster than the world's most advanced supercomputer. Perhaps this could be the mother of all supercomputers. According to reports, the researchers have constructed the first ever quantum prototype that is much faster than the current supercomputer. In fact, the research itself was published in Science Magazine. The breakthrough sheds light on quantum computational advantage, which is also famously known as quantum supremacy. While the project might still be in its infancy, quantum computing is seen as the potential to radically enhance the power and speed of computers, giving them the ability to simulate much larger systems and make groundbreaking advances in the field of chemistry and physics. But it's become a hotly contested tech race between Chinese researchers and some of the largest US tech corporations such as Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. For example, Google announced in 2019 that it had constructed the first quantum computer that was able to perform a computation in under 200 seconds, which would take the world's fastest supercomputer at least 10,000 years to complete, thereby claiming quantum supremacy. But this new Chinese prototype would be able to process 10 billion times faster than the Google prototype, putting it at the summit of quantum supremacy. Yes, the Chinese government is investing heavily in quantum research. In fact, President Xi Jinping's government is building a national laboratory for quantum information sciences that will reportedly cost $10 billion. Another major quantum breakthrough is from Denmark, specifically the University of Copenhagen. According to reports, researchers from the university have advanced their quantum technology to such a degree that classical computers have no way of keeping up. They've developed a chip that, if invested upon, could be improved and used to construct the quantum simulator of the future. Additionally, these results have been published in Science Advances. According to the results, the researchers have developed a nanochip which is less than one-tenth the thickness of a human hair. The chip will allow them to produce enough stable light particles, known as photons, encoded with quantum information to scale up the technology. And in doing so, they may achieve the desired quantum advantage, a state where a quantum device can solve a given computational task faster than the world's most powerful supercomputer. While the researchers are yet to conduct the actual quantum advantage experiment, the article that they published in Science Advances proves that their chip produces a quantum mechanical resource that could be used to achieve a quantum advantage. To get to this desired state, it requires that one has the ability to control about 50 quantum bits, or quantum qubits, which is the quantum physics equivalent of the binary bits of zeros and ones used in classical computers. Currently, researchers are confident that they will use their photon research to construct a new and more advanced simulator to solve complex biochemical problems that might, for example, be used in the creation of new medicines. That being said, they are confident about taking the next steps for the technology to become a reality. The major advantage of light-based quantum computers is that the technology is already put in place for enhancements to be made. This includes increasing the number of qubits available to advance photonic chips that are used in the telecom industry. A serious challenge, however, in generating photon qubits has got to do with maintaining high quality. This is exactly where the Copenhagen researchers achieved unprecedented success. And lastly, we move on to none other than IBM. According to a groundbreaking study published in Physical Review Research, a group of University of Chicago scientists has announced that they were able to turn IBM's largest quantum computer into a quantum material itself. They programmed the computer in such a manner that it was able to turn into a type of quantum material known as an exciton condensate, whose existence has only recently been proved. 
Such condensates have been identified for their potential in future technology, mainly because they conduct energy with almost zero loss. The reason that this quantum breakthrough is so thrilling is that it gives you a feeling that quantum computers can be used as programmable experiments themselves. This could therefore serve as a workshop for constructing potentially useful quantum materials. Physicists are particularly interested in these types of new physical states, mainly because these discoveries are essential in shaping the development of groundbreaking technology. For example, one particular state called a superconductor forms the basis of MRI machines. Despite the fact that exciton condensates had been predicted half a century ago, it's only recently that scientists have been able to actually make one work in a lab without having to resort to the use of extremely long magnetic fields. However, they still continue to impress scientists because they can transport energy without losing any of it at all along the way. Something that no material discovered has been able to do thus far. If scientists can be able to understand them better, they could be the key to creating incredibly energy-efficient materials. For an exciton to condensate, it must be created from a lattice of particles and then cooled down to below minus 270 degrees Fahrenheit. It's then coaxed to form particle pairs known as excitons. They then make these pairs become entangled. Because of the complexity of this method, scientists have only been able to make excitons condensate a few times. Now enter the quantum computer. IBM makes its quantum computers available for people all over the world to test their algorithms. And so, a duo of students, Leanne Sager and Scott Smart, has come up with a set of algorithms that analyze the Rochester quantum bits as an exciton. This quantum computer works by entangling its bits, so that once a computer becomes active, the entire thing becomes an exciton condensate. This complex study, therefore, demonstrated that quantum computers can be utilized as platforms for analyzing exciton condensates on a more complex level. Processing the ability to program a quantum computer so that it's able to behave like an exciton condensate might prove extremely useful and amazing when you consider the potential of exciton condensates for being used as energy-efficient materials. Aside from that, the ability to program such a complex quantum mechanical state on a computer will be marked as an impressive and groundbreaking scientific advancement. Because quantum computers are relatively new, researchers are still exploring the extent of which we can perform with them. But one thing that scientists have known for quite a while now is that there are certain natural phenomena that are virtually impossible to analyze when using classical computers. And with that being said, which one of these quantum breakthroughs impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, smash that notification button, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we'll see you in the future.